G'day, welcome to Unity with Heaven. My name is Joseph and today I want to talk about how the glory of God leads us to repentance. And of course, what is the reason? Why would I want to repent? Why do I want to come in the glory of God? You know, when we repent, in essence what we do, we disconnect from the flesh as the source of our supply. We disconnect from the devil as the source of our supply, darkness, and we connect to God, we connect to Jesus, we connect to the Holy Spirit, to the light of God as the source of our supply. And suddenly there is life, there is joy, there is righteousness, there is peace uh, in our lives and we start to flourish, we start to blossom, bear fruit and we have fulfillment in our lives. And so therefore it's so important for us to turn away from darkness and turn towards the light. Now, a lot of people struggle. They say, well, you know what? Uh, I feel very comfortable where I, I'm here and I know I'm connected to darkness, but, you know, I, I don't want to repent. But I want to tell you, when that person connects and see the glory of God, when they experience that power of God, it's going to be easy for them to recognize and see. But what I'm connected with is really second class. I don't need this in my life. I need the life of God in my life. And then they will repent. I remember in the Bible there was a story in uh, Acts chapter 2 uh, where there was uh, Peter and John and they raised that man at the gate beautiful. He was lame and he could walk and when the crowd saw it, uh, that opened up opportunity for Peter to preach the gospel to them and then 3,000 people uh, got saved uh, and it was just a, a tremendous miracle. It, even could have been 5,000 people, if I, I just have to go and check. Three or 5,000 people, a lot of people got saved. Um, but the reason why the people got saved is because they saw that miracle. And that miracle was just a glimpse of the glory of God. A another interesting story is about Peter. So Peter, um, he was in his boat and Jesus said to him, throw your nets in on the right hand side. And then when they caught that massive catch of fish, he saw that glorious sub supply of God and he just ran and he fell uh, before the Lord and he humbled himself and he started to confess his sins before the Lord. You see, when we see the power of God, then everything changes. Now, I want to read you the scripture of what happened to Isaiah. And if you read that first five chapters in the book of Isaiah, you'll see uh, it's quite judgmental. But then from Isaiah 6, after Isaiah had this amazing encounter with God. You can see even his prophetic flow completely changed because he changed because he wasn't a glory of God. Um, so Isaiah 6 verse 5, then I said, woe is me for I am undone and ruined because I am a man of unclean lips and dwell in the midst of a people of unclean lips for my eyes have seen the King, the Lord of hosts. All right. So immediately when Isaiah came in that glory of God, before the throne room of God, he saw all the cherubim and the seraphim, the angels, he, he felt the, 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 the presence of God, he saw the, the light of the glory of God shining out of him, then he realized, but look at all this, this filth and this sin in my own life, and he started to repent, and he turned to the Lord, and his life was completely changed. The Lord brought a coal, touch his lips he was made cleansed the lord even says see i've cleansed you of all your transgressions and all of your iniquities and then when the lord says who shall i send then isaiah said send me a lord his whole life changed and the same thing can happen to me and you we just have to come into the presence of god the lord invites us he says come boldly to my throne of grace and even in our churches it's important for us to have a display of the power of God yes we can give a good message but it's important that we pray for the sick that we we pray for miracles in our church so that people that walk in there can see the power of God and they can turn to the Lord let me pray for you father today even as we just experience the glory of God and we think about the power of God Lord we we want to repent we want to turn away from our wicked ways, uh, disconnect from darkness, and Lord, we want to connect to you. And so, Father, uh, we, we praise you. Uh, we turn our lives to you. Lord, we repent of our sins in the name of Jesus. Lord, we make a decision to stop those things. Uh, Lord, bring the call of fire. And Lord, thank you that you even come today with your blood and you wash us clean, that we can stand before you holy and righteous. 
Lord, we love you so, so very much. Lord, we ask for the life of God to flow through us, Lord, for miracle power, healing power, Lord, the glory of God to flow through our lives. Lord, let the church not just be weak, but Lord, let the church rise up in power, full of light. And Lord, each one of us is part of the church. Lord, and put your power, put your 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 um um uh, glory inside of us. And so, Lord, uh, let those days of miracles come back in that season. And so, Lord, we give you praise and honor. Lord, we thank you for each one of the healings and the miracles that we've experienced. But, Lord, we're hungry for more. We bless you and we praise you. In the name of Jesus. Amen. God bless you.